Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the new Telos Deros. This board features Telos's setback camber with rocker in the nose, AKA directional cam rocker. So what you get is rocker in the nose, then this camber that's a little more dominant towards the rear foot. That's gonna give you all the load pop, snap, and drive of this board, while that rocker in the nose is gonna give you ease of entry in and out of turns, as well as more optimal powder float. This board's available in 154, 157, and 163 wide. I rode this board at Coppermont on a day that was mostly gray bird. There were a few pockets of blue sky rolling through, low winds, cold temps, four inches of fresh snow, and then leftover pow off the runs. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. The overall flex of this board is ever so slightly past the middle of the road. Now you do have a directional flex, which means softer nose, that stiffens up through the insert pack and then gets just a hair softer in the tail. It's still stiffer than the nose. The torsional flex is abundant, but not overwhelming. This is a lively board. So you do get some chatter in the nose and that resonates back underfoot. You're gonna feel it. And when you get into rutted out terrain, it can get bucked around, so keep your knees bent. When you're really, really charging and you start to hammer things under fresh snow, you're gonna feel it come up underfoot. Like I said, it's a very lively board, not overly damp. So once again, keep your knees bent. The camber on this board is so abundant that when you load it up, you're gonna get some solid spring. The downside is the tail on this board. Between the swallowtail and there is an ever so slight micro rocker in there, you can overload the tail and it just gets soggy. It does not want to pop as much as you would like it to. So you have to be a little more calculated and a little bit laid back with how you engage it. Because if you do, you're going to get more spring. But if you overload it, roll way out on it, you just end up pressing into it and it doesn't pop the way you would want. So with buttering on this board, you got rocker in the nose, right? And you got abundance of it, but you also have where the camber meets it. And that's the flex point you want to ideally aim for. When you leverage your weight out over it at speed, it turns the nose into a spatula. You can get sideways, you can spin around on it. You don't have to worry about it. It really presses in and retains its snap. But if you start to slow down, the board disengages that pop and it just wants to set down and it gives you a really soggy butter. On the tail, it's high speed wheelies for days on that thing. You lean back and you're just gonna keep on going all the way through whatever is in your path. When it comes to carving, there's a consistency on this board that makes you feel like you've ridden it 100 days, whether it's your first day or your 100th day. It's just very easy to engage it on edge. You wanna turn, it turns. You wanna carve, it carves. You wanna lay it over, it lays it over. You can feel it grip underfoot, it stays locked in. And even though the tail is softer, when you drive a hard carve on edge, you still get that power out of it. Who's this board for? The resort ripping powder rider. Someone that's going in the trees, they're ripping the steeps, and they'll even cruise a blue. So this board is like three Telos boards in one. You got the DST, the old Lumerian, and the backslash. So from the old Lumerian, you get the swallowtail. From the DST, you get the longer rocker in the nose and then you kind of get the turning ability of the backslash in it it's a good resort swallowtail in my opinion it does what you want to do there's a level of consistency on it the one thing that i would say is if you're riding more steeper wide open terrain make sure that you upsize if you're riding more flat terrain or mellow terrain you'll be totally fine with your average size on it comparable boards the endeavor archetype the battalion surfer the rosinal sashimi Binding recommendations, the Rome Katana, the Ride C8, the Now Select Pros. This has been my review of the Telos Daros. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.